Good morning. It's Friday morning, April 24th, and it's in fairly early in the morning. Uh, I've been up since pretty early, and I'm out on my lanai. And I don't know about you, but I've read anyway that some articles and people saying that a lot of people are developing new habits and new things that they're doing now because of this different way of living with this coronavirus and uh, this COVID-19 disease. And so uh, being at home more, what I've been doing is I've been going out on my lanai early in the morning and just having my time with the Lord and praying and reading the Bible. And it's great to be out with the creation, the birds, and the, uh, hearing the sounds of the birds and seeing the trees. And so it's, it's been enjoyable and hopefully I'll continue it. And I also, uh, um, with being at home and working more at home, I, over at the church, uh, couple times a week uh, just to do the recordings for kids church and catch up on a couple things that need to be done there but very rare uh, most of the time at home and uh, so I'm also working on my lanai I really enjoy it until it gets too warm in the day uh, and then some I do have a fan and tries to keep me cool but I really um, enjoyed it hope to continue it and but this morning when I came out I use a um, app on my phone called you version Bible app and if you don't have that, it's a great uh, um, tool to have and great app that you can has all kinds of you got you can have the Bible, all different kinds of versions of the Bible translations, and you have uh, then also tons of devotionals that you can read. There's video devotionals, audio. There's ones to read. So I encourage you if you don't have that, and you can then uh, connect with me and other people uh, through that you know that use it, and. Uh, there's also a version Bible app for kids. So anyway, when I went to look at that this morning, I saw about, uh, I also have other apps and had a notification, as I'm sure you have those on a smartphone, and uh, had a notification about the weather and that these storms were going to be coming through. Uh, we already had one this morning, and uh, it was quite rainy, not a really stormy, but quite a bit of rain already. And they say it's going to be this way for the next 24 hours. And it was going to be north of us, a little rain here, but not strong storms. But now we're going to have the strong storms. I'll be honest with you, um, I've been in some strong storms and seen lightning uh, really close. One time I lived in a different place in West Bradenton, closer to the beach, and uh, had um, this uh, storm, a real severe one. And lightning came, and it came right down. Uh, right at our house and I mean it made me jump and uh, I felt like it came into the house I know it sounds weird but that's what it felt like felt like but it did it took out all our our uh, stuff on one end of our house all the electro electrical outlets were blown the electronics were gone it, it was it was pretty bad and so um, you know uh, there could be problems if you have <laughs> If you, unfortunately, if you have a, like a leak in your roof, there's concerns about water coming in. There's all kinds of things you think about with the storm. Maybe not you, but I do. And uh, there can be sometimes a little fear or, or angst or anxiety comes in. And, you know, uh, I'm not worried about it. I, I just uh, was thinking about it. Now you hear some drops coming down and it's going to rain here possibly. But, again, uh, but that's fine. But I... Uh, kind of think about these storms and the thing that that kind of uh, I started thinking about was us and people living during this time and the storms of life the emotional storms the uh, um, spiritual storms the storms we might have in our relationships and our families and uh, some of us maybe on top of not just the coronavirus, this disease, but, but with maybe having with problems physically anyway, and, and it's making it difficult. Um, there's financial concerns, job loss. Uh, even if you have a job now, they're saying the economy is going to still have problems until we can get all this taken care of. And maybe you're, you're dealing with uh, that and you're very, very concerned about that. So there can all be all these fear, this worry, concerns that come into our life. And so I just want to talk to you and just wanted to share and let you know that I'm praying for you. I'm thinking about you. And we as a church and the, the pastors, the leadership are concerned for the families, for the people in the church. And so I just wanted to reach out this way and to say I'm praying for you. 
uh, and concern for you. And if you have any concerns, have any needs, uh, please don't hesitate to contact us. Call the church, uh, go to the website, bradenandcalvary.org. There's uh, contact us links, there's pray for us links. You can do those. Uh, they um, come to uh, me and I'm getting things and I'm uh, forwarding them to Pastor Chuck or Pastor Fernando as needed. And we're responding. Uh, we're checking the voicemail uh, recordings at church. And we, we would love to know if you have any concerns. You can email one of us. Um, they're very easy to remember. Just our names, Pastor Chuck, Pastor Mark, Pastor Fernando. Uh, put that first and then at BradentonCalvary.org. And uh, let us know if you have any concerns or needs. And so we are praying for you. And the other thing I just want to share with the storms of life and these things going on with this coronavirus, COVID-19, if you have different concerns, is, you know, uh, Pastor Chuck just preached last Sunday, and hopefully you're seeing some of the Facebook Live uh, messages, and he spoke on Jacob and Esau, but he tied it into even to today of how we don't need to have all this fear because God is in control. God's not surprised by this. God knows what's going on. He is in control. Now, I know that's easy to just kind of say, and sometimes I struggle uh, with looking and thinking of what's going on, what's happening, but God truly is in control. We see so many examples in Scripture. Uh, you can t continue to read through and see how God controlled. God took care of that situation. And uh, one of the verses that we're sharing right now with the kids is, is the theme verse in Kids Church is Deuteronomy 31.8. And it talks about, it says, For the Lord goes before us, and he will be with us. He will not leave us or forsake us. Do not fear or be dismayed. We don't need to have that fear because he is going before us. He goes before us, and he's with us. So it, it, you see the future, he goes before us. He's with us in the present. We don't need to worry. He's not going to leave us or forsake us. And we don't need to have fear or be in dismay. And so God is in control. And God has this. Uh, we are, need to just continue to pray and trust in him. And I know it's hard sometimes in that. But I'm hoping this and this sharing this will give you some hope. Hoping that we're reaching out to you. Letting you know we love you and we're concerned. We'll give you some hope and some calm and some peace and some rest. And so with all that, I wanna say that I'm praying for you and I'm gonna pray for you right now. God, thank you for uh, these people, for the parents, for the uh, grandparents, for the volunteers that serve in ministry to kids and youth and nursery. And Lord, we thank you for all of them. And we thank you, God, that you uh, love us that you are in control, that you do go before us. We don't need to be in fear because we know you'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. And God, you are in control of all this. And Lord, I thank you that you do love us and that we can read in the scriptures, in the Bible that you have given us, your word, that we can read of so many different times where the people were struggling many were struggling because of sin and things they had done but you still when they repented and they came to you lord you took care of them and many uh, were just other circumstances and difficulties and you took care of them and lord you are in control and we thank you for that and we thank you for who you are and lord i just pray for each and every family each and every child each and every uh, servant of the lord that, Lord, you would just be with them, those that are part of Calvary Baptist Church and our community. Lord, just be with them. Uh, take care of them. You know each and every need of each child, each parent, grandparent, each uh, person that serves you and lives for you that is hearing this. You know their needs right now. And I lift them to you and pray for them and continue to pray for them each and every day. Lord, just be with them now. And we thank you for the great, wonderful, mighty, and powerful things that you will do. And we give you the glory and honor and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'll continue to be praying for you. And like I said, if you have needs, let us know. We are praying for you. And we love you. And I know it's a difficult time, a different time. And until we can be together again, I just know we are reaching out and praying for you. Take care. 
Hope you have a great day and are safe in this rainy, stormy day. All right. Take care. Bye.